Ladies and gentlemen, President William Samuel Ruto is expected to visit Raila Odinga's home in Bondo during Ruto's four days tour to the Luo Nyanza region. This is because of President William Ruto's political unity with Raila Amolo Odinga through the formation of the broad-based government. And believe it or not, through my thorough research, majority of Kenyans are so happy with President William Ruto and Raila Odinga working together ahead of the 2027 general elections. It is just a few who are opposing. But the few who are opposing William Ruto and Raila Odinga working together, it is because they simply hate Raila Amol Odinga. A question that I'm still asking myself. Why exactly would someone hate Raila Odinga? Simply because of working with William Ruto. I just think that is completely not fair at all. But as a result of William Ruto and Raila Odinga working together, majority of Kenyans, specifically from the Luo Nyanza region, will vote massively for President William Ruto in the 2027 general elections. Don't forget that in the previous 2022 general elections, President William Ruto only got a total of 1% of votes in the entire Nyanza region. The Nyanza region is Raila Odinga's main strongholds, Raila Odinga's bedroom. But this time round, if you combine what Raila Odinga got or the total number of votes that Raila Odinga got in the previous 2022 general elections with the total number of votes that Ruto got in the previous 2022 general elections, that is exactly how William Ruto will be elected and opposed. I strongly believe William Ruto will defeat Kalonzo Musioka in the 2027 general elections. There is no way that Kalonzo will defeat William Ruto and Raila Odinga combined. And that is why this article from The Nation says that President William Ruto gains new entry into Raila Odinga's Nyanza backyard. It proceeds to say that the decision by Dr. William Ruto to win the support of the region that voted for Mr. Odinga to a one man, I mean to a man, comes as the backdrop of a perceived falling out between the president William Ruto and his deputy president Rigadi Ashawa. So what I'm so interested about is what next for the DP Rigadi Ashawa. And I want us to observe keenly the political movements of the DP Rigadi Gashagua ahead of the 2027 general elections. Is Rigadi Gashagua really comfortable working together with Raila Odinga and the ODM party through the broad-based government? Or Rigadi Gashagua will have to chart his own political path ahead of the 2027 general elections. Because the rumors say that Rigadi Gashagua is in a fallout with William Bruto because of Raila Amolo Odinga coming into the government. Therefore, Rigadi Gashagua is expected to unite with the Wiper party leader, Kalonzo Musioka, ahead of the 2027 general elections. So let us wait and see how things will turn out to be. And this event that is coming, William Bruto's tour 
to the Luo Nyanza region. I want us also to observe Rigathi Kashagwa. If Rigathi Kashagwa will attend that event because yesterday and the previous four days, William Ruto was in the Western region tour. And I did not see Rigathi Kashagwa in any of the events, including yesterday's event in the Western region. So I want us to observe keenly Rigathi Kashagwa's political moves. So Raila Odinga, together with the ODM party leaders, have officially invited President William Ruto to the Luo Nyanza region tour. And I'm told that the billboards have already been erected. Like for example, I want you to have a look at this. It says that the thanksgiving ceremony. Then you can see the photo of President William Ruto. The CS for Treasury, John Buddy, together with Raila Odinga. It says the guest of honor who has been invited to that event is the president, His Excellency Dr. William Samuel Ruto. Then it says broad based government. This event will take place on the 29th of August 2024, and the venue will be at Magunga Sports Ground, Suba South Constituency. It says Karibuni. Therefore, on the 30th, which will be on Friday, William Bruto is also expected to hold an event in Homer Bay County. Then on Saturday, the 31st of August 2024, William Bruto will be in Siaya County. But I want you to mark this date very well in your calendars. The 1st of September 2024. This will be William Bruto's last event during his Luo Nyanza region tour. Therefore, Ruto is expected in Kisumu. During Ruto's event in Kisumu, William Bruto is also expected to visit Raila Amolo Odinga's home in Bondo. So let me give you the shocking details of President William Ruto's visit to Raila Odinga's home. It is very interesting. But before that, just a quick reminder that if you are listening to me and you haven't subscribed to this channel, I want you to take one second or two and hit the subscribe button down below for you to be able to receive more political updates from this channel. Politics like the one that I'm currently doing right now. You can also give this video a like so that YouTube can recommend this video in particular and this entire channel to reach out to more people. Because I believe that is the only way that we can improve this channel to grow. And to my returning subscribers, thank you so much for your support. Now let us proceed and I want us to begin right from here. The most important question is... Why exactly is Raila Odinga so much interested in inviting President William Ruto's, I mean President William Ruto to his home? Why? In my considered opinion, first of all, Raila Odinga wants to send a strong message to the Luos and the Kalenjins. And the message that Raila Odinga wants to send is this, that him, Raila Odinga, and President William Ruto have finally reconciled, politically speaking. These two leaders, Raila Odinga and William Ruto, were never in good terms on matters politics. And that is why, if you can still remember, in the previous 2022 general elections campaigns, when Ruto was campaigning in the Nyanza region, William Ruto's motorcade was stoned badly. President William Ruto was not given a chance to campaign in Nyanza region. The same thing happened to Raila Odinga. When Raila Odinga was campaigning in Eldoret, 
in the previous 2022 general elections, Raila Odinga's chopper was toned badly. I want you to have a look at this particular photo, if you can still remember. So going forward, I expect a strong unity between the Luos and the Kalenjins, and especially ahead of the 2027 general elections. So majority of the Luos and the Kalenjins will vote together for President William Ruto because William Ruto and Ray Laudinga unity will officially mark the beginning of a new political friendship between President William Ruto and Raila Amolo Odinga. Number two, Raila Odinga inviting President William Ruto to his home. Raila Odinga is simply endorsing President William Ruto for the 2027 general elections. In fact, Ruto's tour to the Luo Nyanza region is because the campaigns have already started. William Ruto is taking his campaigns for 2027 in the Luo Nyanza region and he will be received, welcomed by Raila Odinga and the ODM party leaders. I want you to remember this, that the only thing as to why Raila Odinga is inviting Ruto to his home, it is because of the broad-based government. The formation of the broad-based government between William Ruto and Raila Odinga ahead of the 2027 general elections. So that is how Raila Odinga is simply endorsing President William Ruto. And number three, Raila Odinga inviting President William Ruto to his home, it has got something to do with Raila Odinga's retirement from the local politics. And I'm told that William Ruto and the Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance government, the leaders in Kenya Kwanzaa, are organizing for a celebration for Raila Odinga. It will take place at Raila Odinga's home just to celebrate what Raila Odinga has done in the politics of the Republic of Kenya. This is what Raila Odinga said. I am not going to be very active in the Kenyan politics henceforth. As I continue to focus my attention on the continental campaign for the African Union Commission top job. I want you to also remember the following, that the unity between Ruto and Raila Odinga is exactly what made the Gen Z's to call off the demonstrations across the country. Meaning, Raila Odinga is the one who saved President William Ruto. As a matter of fact, without Raila Amolo Odinga, there was no any other leader willing to save William Ruto. When Ruto was calling for a dialogue, all the leaders, including the leaders in the opposition, the leaders from Azimio, they told William Ruto, no, it is not time for dialogue, it is time for action. It was only Raila Odinga who stood up and said, look here people, dialogue is the only solution to all the problems that the Kenya, the, that Kenyans are currently facing. Because the people were saying that Ruto must go. If Ruto will go, then the DP Rigadi Gashagwa will officially take over as the president. Will Rigadi Gashagwa um, solve the issues that Kenyans are complaining about? Of course not. Or the military will take over, which will be very, very dangerous to the country. So basically, dialogue was the only solution. Because of Ruto and Raila Odinga's unity, the broad-based government will be the government of the 2027 general elections. William Ruto will win through Raila Odinga in the broad-based government. And also, Ruto and Raila Odinga united is exactly what will make Raila Odinga to win the African Union Commission top job. Already as we speak, Raila Odinga is the one leading 
in the African Union Commission top job. I want you to have a look at the details here. So basically what I'm trying to say is that both William Ruto and Ray Laudinga are the only masters of politics in the Republic of Kenya. I don't know what you think. I really want to know your thoughts and your opinions in the comment section down below. What can you say about William Ruto's events, political tour in the Luo Nyanza region? And I really want to know the thoughts of the people who are coming from Nyanza in this channel. What can you say about Ruto and Ray Lodinga working together? What can you say about Ray Lodinga inviting President William Ruto to his home? Let me see you again in my next video analysis. Remember, my name is Jason, but please don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more political updates. Bye-bye and have a good day ahead. Thank you so much.